This remarkable looking boat is called Energy Observer. It started life as an offshore sailing catamaran competing in round the world races, but has since been turned into a floating offshore laboratory for future green technologies. It's driven by a pair of small electric motors, but what's interesting is not the way it goes along, but the way those electrical motors are powered. Rather than using a vast reserve of lithium ion batteries, it just has one smaller battery that is used a little bit like the day tank of a conventional diesel powered boat. But any excess energy is stored in the form of hydrogen gas. But what's really clever about this setup is that it creates its own hydrogen gas from the very water it is floating on. The process starts with generating sufficient electrical energy. That's done by a combination of bifacial solar panels, which harvest energy from the sun not just directly, but also from the reflected rays off the surface of the water. It also has a pair of 12 meter high ocean wings. These very efficient sails are covered in canvas, which can be dropped if the wind gets too much. But not only do they power the boat along much like a conventional sailing yacht, but because they're also pushing the hulls through the water, that in turn turns the propellers and generates electrical energy that way. As that electrical energy is being generated by both the sonar panels and the ocean wings, the initial hit is used to recharge the lithium ion batteries, much like the day tank. But once these have been topped up, any excess energy is then used to create hydrogen for longer term storage. The process starts by gathering the water from the sea, which then has to be desalinated and passed through two further stages of purification to make sure there are no contaminants and it's completely deionized. That 100% pure water is then passed to an electrolyzer, where an electrical current is passed through it to split the H2O into the constituent elements of hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is then siphoned off, passed through three stages of compression to take it up to 350 bar so that it doesn't take up too much space and can be stored long term in eight cylindrical gas tanks on the bow. The beauty of this is that the hydrogen can then be kept and stored for as long as it's needed until that in turn is required to power the electrical motors once again. At that point, the hydrogen gas is fed back to a fuel cell where it is converted into electricity and used to power the motors. Using this technology, Energy Observer has sailed all around the world, covering over 16,000 nautical miles, as far north as Norway and the Arctic Circle, right through the Mediterranean and even into London itself. The Energy Observer team aren't suggesting that every boat and car should be fitted with this complex technology. All they want to do is demonstrate that it's a viable means of storing clean electrical energy for the longer term usage. Their vision is that hydrogen gas will be created onshore more efficiently using excess clean electrical energy created by wind farms or solar farms, which is then used to generate hydrogen, which can then be moved around the country and distributed just like current conventional fossil fuels. So boats and cars will simply need to stop by at their fuel station just as they do now, but instead of topping up with diesel or petrol, they top up with hydrogen gas. This hydrogen gas will then be converted back into electrical energy using small efficient onboard fuel cells to finally give electric powered cars and boats the range and the performance to compete with the current generation of fossil fuel vehicles. It's a really interesting and compelling vision and could well form part of our future transport network.